Now I don't often do uh, spoken videos because I don't like to hear myself talk. Um, it's just the way it is, but at the moment I don't have much time to type. And talking through the video or during the video is quicker at the time. So um, let's talk a little bit about this uh, fuel can. Though. I got it recently. It's the it's the new Husqvarna dual can or whatever you call it in the, wherever you come from. It uh, carries oil, bar oil, and it carries two-stroke fuel. And uh, it has these little container-like things in between those two uh, in between those two halves. Um, what do I think of that? I don't know what to think about it. For me it's useless to have these containers because I never use them. I think the idea is that you put your uh, your uh, felling wedges in here. At least that's what I think it is for. But since I use bigger felling wedges than this uh, container can hold, it stays empty. And on this side, um, you can put your scrunch in there, you can put your file in there, and maybe a flat file as well. I also don't use it. I, I carry a little box with all my tools in it. and yeah, That's about it. I don't need anything else and uh, so these stay empty and uh, maybe it's a nice feature for uh, somebody that only occasionally uses chainsaws you know a homeowner with a few trees or firewood cutting uh, to me it's not really practical and uh, I also wonder how strong these things are they are obviously made only for a Svarna gear so uh, if you got anything else, let's say you got these Oregon files, yeah, well they, they already don't fit in here anymore because you got these file holders in it, you know. And yeah. So is it very usable? I don't know. I got these filler. Uh, these fillers come with the kit. You can either choose for the solid ones maybe you can see them lying over there I don't use the, those I use the fast fillers you know the auto fillers press them in, in the tank and they will start running until the tank is filled up and they will automatically stop filling your chainsaw unless you got over pressure and always press down on the filler first to take care of the over pressure otherwise the fuel will just spray out compressed during the filling. Um, are they any good? Well, I had no trouble with them. I've taken them with me this winter in uh, the aerial uh, vehicle I was using, you know, the big self-propelled bucket machine. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think you call it an aerial lift, by the way. It's self-propelled, so you drive it just from the top. You can stay up high and drive it around. Well, you've seen the videos probably. I carried it around. It was just on the floor, so wood fell onto it. I kicked against it. It went from left to right, and it survived. It didn't even really scratch up. Don't see any dents. Well, some scratches, but it's normal. So, I think the quality is is okay. It's about the same quality as the steel ones that you just saw in the car. Uh, although it looks a bit more flimsy than the steel version. Still had these these kind of tanks for years and years. And this is the first real option that I have come across from Oskrana. Oskrana used to have a solid tank and then on that you could click a loose oil reservoir and 
you had this strange handle in between made from a little metal spike and a little handle and with a clamp system and you also had the clamp system with the you can click you could click these loose aspen things in there and this one's empty by the way should get a new one and those aspen tanks had their own fast filler cap but these aspen tanks they were so thin in material that when you wanted to fill your chainsaw up the material you could see it shrink in first so all the air had to run out and everything had to get into a vacuum before it started giving fuel that would take up some time this is harder so it won't give as much and therefore it will fuel quicker and it's a, I think it's a better cap you can close it but is that an interesting fe feature I never use it to be honest never why use it I mean there's a spring in here that presses the rubber bit up against this uh, against the ring you can see if you can see it but there's a ring there that will close it airtight so why would you want to lock it up I don't really see the usefulness in that but well, maybe people that want to carry it around in the car a lot without using it much maybe they want to lock it up for when it falls over I don't know there's not a real logic behind it so there you go uh, the Husqvarna can not a bad can but also with a lot of features on it that I will never use but there's probably people that will use it and for them this will be perfect for me it's only extra weight maybe you should I think you can unscrew the whole thing I don't know this looks like a screw I just might do that I don't know yeah there's a little screw in there so I can take it off take the weight off maybe I should do that save me some weight although it will be only a few grams <laughs> less weight is less weight okay thanks for watching